Today in Cyber Israel Magazine, the World Economic Forum has designated cyber attacks and cybercrime as global risk factor number one. Studies show that in less than five years, cybercrime will generate more than $10 trillion annually. Tonight, we will ask executives and cyber defense managers what challenges, tools, and methods they use to protect the new gold, organizational information. We'll investigate how an organization can understand the main risks to which it is exposed and whether it's following the rules and regulations that apply to it in cyber. We'll learn from those active in the field how to build a risk reduction work plan. Is it possible to address the latest cyber threats while meeting the numerous regulatory requirements? And can the state assist the private sector in dealing with cyber threats? What are the tools the state provides to help organizations deal with cyber risks? Hello, and welcome to Cyber Israel magazine. Today, we will answer this burning question professionally and efficiently with the help of our guest expert in each subject. Let's start at the beginning and find out if it is possible to assess how much an organization can prepare for cyber threats and how to prepare a budget for this issue. Hello, Aviv. Thank Hi. you very much for inviting me. Thank you for being here. So, Shoham, please help us understand the worries and concerns of company managers. As an ex-CEO, what are the main difficulties in organizing cyber threat assessments? As a CEO and one that deals with many CEOs, we are faced with many decisions that require a lot of risks and, and quick decision making. To understand that, we must get an enormous amount of information regarding regulations, regarding laws, regarding vast technologies that we need to incorporate in order to reach the right decision in a quick and efficient manner. How do you think it is best to improve organizational readiness, including budgetary planning for cyber threats? In order to improve the company's security or the preparation for cyber threats, you must first understand the security posture of the organization. To do that, the best way is to get more information, to be informed. The ideal way to be informed is to assess your company's security posture by uh, risk assessment, by audits, by surveys. And that will give the CEO enough information to make smart, calculated decisions on how to best prepare for the upcoming threats. As you know, the world of cybersecurity is constantly updating and changing, which can result in being exposed to cyber threats we are unaware of or violation of new domestics and international regulation. To prevent these occurrences, we have invited Meital Brooks and Oren Elimelech to set things straight. Can you enlighten us on the importance of the INCD framework? Cybersecurity is too big for us to manage based on intuition or gut feeling. If we do not use a structured framework, we will miss things, and that's something we don't want to happen. The INCD framework, for example, contains 330 controls, from access management to awareness training. Odds are that without using a framework, we will not remember to go through so many controls. Is there an effective way to keep track of the many changes and new threats that are constantly popping up? There's no doubt that regulation is one of the main drivers of cybersecurity today. This is true both internationally and domestically for every country that aims to boost its cybersecurity. And regulation deals with common issues, cyber and data security, implementation, processes, audits, the Internet of Things, the workforce, and even risk management. NIST formulates and refines most of these standards and then spreads into dozens of countries, including Israel, where not only the INCD, but also private companies, such as ours, need to stay updated and secure. On top of a wide variety of issues, there's the unprecedented pace. Making sense of the macro trend is an ongoing challenge for every company. When considering Israel versus the world, one of the first things we should consider is the size of organizations. When we look at large companies with thousands and tens of thousands of employees, the threats, as well as our ability to protect against them, is very different than we're looking at small companies with dozens of employees. Local frameworks and regulations take size into account and are more applicable for smaller organizations. Now, we're going to move into the field to check with cyber defense managers at various organizations 
to learn how they build work plans that responds well to the various threats while meeting regularity requirements. Hello, Manny. Thank you for joining us. So tell us, as someone who managed cyber defense in organization and accompanied many organizations in Israel and around the world on the difficulty in preparing a work plan aimed to dealing with threats and also meeting standards. Standards and frameworks are an amazing tool that helps organizations to make sense in the risk management process and IT environments. Yet, the updating life cycle of standards and frameworks is slow, while cyber threats are being constantly introduced to the world. You should definitely adopt the right framework for you, but you should do it in a way that keeps your organization's agility and flexibility. Remember that frameworks are the mean and not the goal. They should work for you and not the other way around. Thanks a lot, Manny. Over the past two years, the Israel National Cyber Directorate has developed a risk calculator to manage cyber defense in the organization. This system, for the first time, helps organizations build a work plan for cyber protection simply, freely, and professionally. I'm handing it over to Yuval and Aviram from the Israel National Cyber Directorate. Today, the challenge for many organizations is not lack of information, but a flood of information. Organizations are required to choose the right recommendations from thousands and even hundreds of publications, as well as make cross-reference between several data sources. In order to continue to lead the economy to the most up-to-date information and to facilitate its use, we decided to develop a dedicated platform. This platform helps organizations build a work plan based on the recommendations of the system, as well as providing a basis for local processes, such as organization certifications and obtaining a certificate for approved provider. The system now assists bodies in producing managerial reports for stakeholders, both inside and outside the organization. The system we have developed allows users four main things. First of all, the ability to build a cyber defense work plan. Secondly, presentation of the main cyber risk to which the organization is exposed. Third, presenting of the level of compliance of the organization with protection standards and regulations. And last but not least, receiving the latest protection recommendations in a centralized platform. Last month, I had the honor of receiving ISC Square Governance Professional Award for 2020. This recognition followed the initiation of the platform and the management of this innovative project. Four years ago, the Israeli National Cyber Directorate published the Cyber Defense Methodology for an Organization. This methodology is based on world-leading cybersecurity framework, the NIST CSF, to implement a vast Israeli experience and know-how on the securing of Israeli economy. As someone who works with many governments all around the globe, I see great value in harmonizing the unique local needs of each country with a unified international language. The use of NIST CSF as the basis for a unified language can serve as the common ground for all of us, particularly in the field of supply chain cyber hygiene protection and for the establishment of a scheme for international certification. These can form the basis of international trust in digital technologies that is so crucial. This is what is required today, and it will take on a new meaning with the maturing of emerging technologies such as IoT, 5G communication, and migration to the cloud. Hello, Vivit, and hello, David. So after we told viewers about the cyber challenges and the solution developed by the National Cyber System on the subject, we would love to hear from you about your experience with the system and your impressions. We live in an era where the boundaries between nation-state cyber threats and cyber criminal threats is blurred. The INCD understood that public as well as the private sector needs guidance and assistance in dealing with the upcoming and increasing cyber threats. The system that was built for this purpose is a fine example of an effective tool which allows every organization to follow leading cybersecurity frameworks. Uh, the tool is intuitive, it allows company to build a work plan and uh, practice risk mitigation according to international best practices. This is a first and vital step in devising a robust and effective cybersecurity platform. Thank you very much, Avivit. And now let's hear David Primor, the CEO of Sinomi. 
As CEO of a company specializing in this domain, supporting many organizations, both in Israel and abroad, I can confidently say that the solution developed by the Israeli Cyber Directorate is a truly innovative one. I had the privilege to participate in the focus group of this initiative and use the solution firsthand. I strongly endorse the solution usage of the latest cybersecurity methodologies. I also see significant value in the management of processes through a digital system which is able to provide continuously updated 360 degree view. I am certain that every organization making use of this solution will benefit from very high return on their investment, time and resources. That's all for today. Thanks so much to everyone who participated in creating this important content. You are more than welcome to enter the INCD website to see if your organization is prepared for the many cyber risks. Thank you very much for being with us. See you in the next edition of Cyber Israel magazine.